Good morning, this is Daily Spiritual Gossip and I'm coming to do a video about transmuting pain. And um, this card fell out, I was getting ready to do a reading and I said, you know what, because I wanted to upload a few videos on my main channel, which is Daily Spiritual Gossip. Um, I have a channel where I just do straight tarot, which is Divine Solar Empress 333. And I'm Divine Solar Empress. And um, I wanted to do this video and this seems so significant for this uh, video. Um, the Fool's Embrace, Transmuting Pain. This card fell out of my Shaman's deck. And, um, oh, my nail chipped. And um, I wanted to do a reading on it. And um, I was going through my table. I was cleaning off my table. And um, I had a card that I took notes on. It's about the South Node. Because, you know, you have your North Node and your South Node. And with your self note, it reveals the gifts that you bring into this lifetime. It's like past life, um, uh, you know, karma, all that stuff from past life. Sometimes people, they'll stay in their self note and they won't move into their north note, which, which is your destiny, your purpose. And I just jotted down some notes on this card. It's a little scribble scrapple. But I had jotted it down and I was cleaning my table off and this was here. Um... 511, which is an angel number. I had written it down on this card, but I never got a chance to um, put it inside of my um, my flashcard um, deck. And it says, can create your own future and act to get what you want. Um, hope and encouragement. So act to get what you want. You can create your own future, you know. And then the back of it says, 811, positive life change. Positive life changes are coming that will help you settle into securities, um, spirituality, and abundance. So number 811 and 511. And it's crazy because the past two um, nights I've been waking up and um, in the morning and every time I look at my clock, I've been saying 511. Seriously, 611, 511. Every time I look at my clock in the morning, I've been seeing that number. So it's something very significant. And another card that I had on my table, I'm telling you, this is how I know this video is meant to be um, done. Um, it fell out of my affirmations. No, actually I kept it. I think I had kept it, but I forgot that it was even on my table. It's an affirmation card deck that I have that I um, gave to my daughter. It's like little affirmations to, you know, say to yourself to, you know, help your self-esteem and stuff like that. And um, it says, the story of my life. As I tell myself the story of what's happening in my life, I choose to make it the kind of story where even the tough parts have a sort of inner beauty. It ultimately is a happy story where every character, no matter how wicked, is doing their best. And let me tell you, it will be worth it when I earn that Pulitzer Prize for the best inner monologue. And... I'm telling you, divine is speaking, like seriously, because transmute pain, fools embrace, like that literally this past year for me, well, the past year and a half, I should say, for me has been that, but this past year in January, um, oh, I was looking down at this card and I was about to say divorce. My divorce, I filed for divorce, I left my situation, I left behind, um, I took the fool's journey. I left behind my family, um, the, the ones that were wicked, because there was a lot of wicked stuff going on. I left all that behind. I literally cleared out my whole life. I took my children, the car that I owned, that was all I had, um, my little Honda, and I left. I left and I went towards my destiny. I followed the call of divine. Divine was like, this is not healthy. I have something better for you. And do you trust me? And I grabbed the divine's hand, literally, I'm not kidding you, literally, I had, I had nothing, and, um, the more and more I speak my story, you'll see what I'm saying, um, a woman in my position would have been terrified to walk out on what I walked out on, I have a felony on my record, which makes it very difficult for me to get jobs, um, they had got me fired, um, Anyway, it was a lot of stuff going on where in my position with two children and walking out, um, that would have been difficult because me and my children were living in um, motels and my car. And, you know, I got blessed and I ended up um, getting um, into a transitional housing program for my children and I where we're, we're becoming more stable. 
um, we're stable, you know, um, I'm obviously I'm starting to work for myself and, um, you know, I'm, I took all that pain and literally made it into something beautiful for myself. I literally said, you know what, I'm going to love me. I'm going to take all of this childhood pain, my family, my ex, um, his other situations he had on the side that were trying to, um, you know, destroy me, um, you know, having me falsely arrested and a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Coming to my home, then calling the police, having me arrested as though I was the, you know, but they had people in law enforcement and stuff as well. So, and um, when I've been doing some of my readings, I, I wrote down a lot of downloads that I had and I wrote down some things that have happened in my life as well because they're life lessons and some of it's come out in the energy as well. So I see there's other people that may be going through something similar that I went through. And, um, you know, so I feel that I'm really a beacon, you know, I'm a teacher in a way to, to help other people. So I don't want to make this too long, but um, this is going to be titled transmuting pain um i want to do another video about um really rewriting your story about what you want it to be from this card of a story of my life because i'm i've been um jotting down some stuff and um i recorded some stuff about my life story because i want to do a story of my life and um you know but um it's what you make it and transmuting pain you can take some of the worst pain i've done it and really just tell yourself what you want it to be. Like, you know, um, for example, growing up, I was always told that I wasn't pretty enough because I wasn't, my mother was biracial. Well, the woman who raised me was biracial. She was light, you know, she had red hair and everything. She was, you know, and people would always make me feel as though I was less than because I wasn't lighter. So I was bigger. I, she used to tell me, um, Nobody, no man would ever treat you right because he, they don't treat big women well, you know. And, um, you know, I re really kind of grew up a little bit with some of that inside. So I felt like I had something to prove. But as I got older, I realized is people will treat you how you will allow them. So I took that negativity. I took all that pain of all of that. And she used to buy me diet pills and stuff. And, you know, I, I went through a lot of battles of even, um, you know, after I would eat, I would make myself sick and stuff like that. I went through a lot of stuff like that um, where I was physically, you know, and mentally not where I should have been. But I took that pain and I said, you know what, now um, it's about watching what you eat, you know, and I have my own little guilty pleasures. And it's really just about you, how you feel about you. So I took all that negativity and I said, Imagine what you want yourself to be, what you want to look like, how you want to be treated. So I took that and I tell myself what I need to hear. I don't lie to myself because I know there's weight that I want to lose. I know there's things about myself that I want to fix, but I don't tell myself that in a way to hurt myself. I tell myself that in a way to build myself up. What do you want to change about yourself today? What do you see for yourself? So you're literally taking that pain and you're turning it into a story that's going to help you grow, not what people say. So, you know, um, that's really what my version of transmuting pain. It's really just taking that, you know, that pain from what other people have done and said and just turning it into the story of your life, what you want, what you see for yourself. And it's not what other people, because some things about yourself, obviously you can't change. I can't change my skin tone and I'm not going to bleach myself and poison my skin. It's stupid. But, um, you know, I know there's a lot of people who do. So, you know, I mean, not stupid as far as them. I'm saying it's stupid as far as me, because I, I realize that's something I can't change. And I'm not going to, because if divine made me this, then this must be what divine sees for me in this life. So, you know, that's that's my story that I tell myself. And my weight, you can change that. I was bigger, now I'm smaller. And I see myself in the size that I want to be. 
I, I literally pick out clothes in the size that I want to fit in. So that's my goals. That's who I am. That's what I'm working towards. And I don't go through these crash diets anymore where I starve myself. And then three days later, I don't gain the weight back because I'm eating it. I'm not doing that anymore. It's like, okay, I'll do little things here, do little things. You know what I mean? You take that and you make it your story. You take that pain and you make it your victory. That's what I really want this video to be about. Taking that and making it your victory. So I thank you for your time and I'm going to come back in and do a video about Pluto because that's another card I fell out. I'm very into um, astral theology and I'm going to do a video about Pluto coming up and um, Venus as well. So um, please like and subscribe the video. Check it out. I have another channel, um, Divine Solar Empress 333. It's strictly tarot. And if you're not into tarot, that's fine. But um, if you want to check it out, I would appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And I thank you for your time. And to my soul tribe, see you again. Same time, same frequency.